Sawadikap, I'm JP Mestanza. Today is Monday, December 20th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. Phuket officials held a press conference this morning to call for people not to panic over arrivals landing on the island who have tested positive for the new COVID-19 variant, while also clarifying that four cases were found. The chief of the Phuket Provincial Public Health Office, Dr. Kusak Kukiatikun, confirmed this morning that five people who had arrived in Phuket on direct flights from abroad last week had tested positive for Omicron, but subsequent tests cleared one of them who did have COVID but hadn't actually been infected with the new variant. Three of the four cases landed in Phuket last Monday, December 13th, and included an American male who arrived from England, a Thai national who arrived from Saudi Arabia, and a Tunisian man who arrived from France. The fourth case, a Swedish man, arrived the day before on December 12th. All of them were fully vaccinated, but they tested positive upon arrival, and subsequent tests revealed that they were all infected with Omicron variant. All were quarantined at a local hospital here on the island and exhibited only mild symptoms. In addition, officials say about 20 at-risk people who came into contact with the four are also being quarantined. One of those infected, the Thai national, was allowed to head back to his home province of Patani to receive treatment. While aiming to inspire confidence that Omicron will be detected on the front line entry point to Phuket, Dr. Kusak did not explain why the news was not announced a week ago or whether any other arrivals since December 13th were suspected of carrying the new Omicron variant. According to the Phuket Reopening Daily Report issued by the Tourism Authority of Thailand, 10,959 arrivals landed in Phuket from abroad from December 14th to 18th alone. The news comes as officials in Bangkok announced that eight Thais from two separate tour groups who returned on December 15th from a religious pilgrimage to Saudi Arabia all tested positive for the new variant and have been quarantined at a local medical facility in Bangkok. And just a few hours ago, a senior health official in Bangkok confirmed the first local infection of the Omicron variant of COVID in Thailand, a 49-year-old Thai woman who they say caught it from her husband, a 62-year-old Colombian national who was found infected after arriving from Nigeria on November 26. The wife's Omicron infection was confirmed on December 10th. Officials in Bangkok say there were now 63 confirmed Omicron cases in the nation and 20 more suspected. For more, visit thepuganews.com. A proposal will be put forth to the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration in Bangkok to suspend the test and go entry program for fully vaccinated arrivals to Thailand from specific countries due to the escalating Omicron variant situation worldwide. The public health minister, Anutin Chambinekun, says he'll put forth the proposal this week, adding that all arrivals should instead go through the sandbox and state quarantine schemes. The director general of the Department of Medical Sciences said, quote, if testing go is not reviewed, then infected but undetected arrivals can right away travel farther inside the country and cause clusters of infections. Most Omicron cases detected were arrivals at Suvarnabhum Airport, and they formed a quarter of the COVID-19 cases found there. The case numbers increased quite quickly over the past week, which corresponded with the global situation. Meanwhile, the Public Health Ministry issued a stern warning on Sunday that all fairs and other events held throughout the country may be banned if organizers lowered their guard against COVID. The warning came after Surin province abruptly canceled the concerts on Saturday and Sunday at the Elephant Fair after concert goers packed the shows last Friday. Other provinces around the nation are also planning similar fairs to celebrate the new year. For more, visit the link in the description. National Parks officials gave formal approval for over the weekend for Maya Bay to reopen on New Year's Day, January 1st, after having been closed to tourists for nearly three and a half years. A limited number of tourists will be allowed to visit Maya Bay Beach on PP Lay, about 375 tourists per hour, according to the Director General of the National Parks Department. In addition, swimming will be prohibited due to the large number of black tip reef sharks that now call Maya Bay home, over 160 at last count. An advisory committee is also considering whether tourists would have to pay an extra admission fee for visiting Maya Beach itself in addition to the admission fee to enter the Marine National Park. 
The department closed Maya Bay back in June of 2018 after it was overwhelmed by tourists, leading to the destruction of reefs and marine ecology in the area. Maya Bay has drawn global attention since it was featured in the 1999 Hollywood movie The Beach, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. For more, visit thepukanews.com. Quality guaranteed since 2012. Call M and Painting today. Phuket Countdown 2022 officials have confirmed Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli will perform at Sapanhem Public Park with the event organizer requiring the audience to show a negative COVID-19 test result and proof of complete vaccination before attending. Phuket's New Year's Eve celebration in Sapanhen on the outskirts of Phuket town will feature Mr. Bocelli as the highlight of the night, according to the tourism minister, in a show that will also feature famous local artists from the 90s. In addition, anyone interested in attending would have to prove they are fully vaccinated and test negative for COVID via antigen test kit no more than 72 hours prior to the event on December 31st. For more, visit thepukanews.com. The island recorded 50 new COVID cases on Friday, 35 on Saturday, and 52 total cases on Sunday. This raises the total number of cases in Phuket in December to 1,258, with an average of 66 cases per day and a death toll of 5. Meanwhile, Thailand recorded 2,525 new cases and 31 more fatalities attributed to COVID over the last 24 hours. Thailand has so far recorded 2.19 million cases and a death toll of 21,408 since the pandemic began early last year. Thanks for joining us on this special Monday edition of Phuket Extra brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow on Tuesday. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.